Florence Beatrice Price, nay Smith, was born in a racially integrated community in Little Rock, Arkansas in 1887. Her mother, Florence Irene Smith, had a varied career, including being a school teacher, owning a restaurant, selling real estate, and serving as secretary of the International Loan and Trust Company. Her father, James H. Smith, was the city's only black dentist and one of his patients had included the state's governor. At the age of four, Florence played in her first piano recital and by 11, she had her first composition published. At age 14, Price graduated as high school valedictorian and left Little Rock in 1904 to attend the New England Conservatory. In 1906, Florence earned her bachelor in music degree and was the only one of 2,000 students to complete a double major in organ and piano performance. Following graduation, she taught for one year at the Cotton Plant Arkadelphia Presbyterian Academy. From 1910 to 1912, she taught at Clark University in Atlanta before returning to Little Rock. It is also in the year 1912 that Florence had married attorney Thomas J. Price. After moving back to Arkansas, Price struggled to find employment because of the mounting racial tensions and segregation. After being refused admission to the all-white Arkansas Music Teachers Association, she founded the Little Rock Club of Musicians and taught music at the segregated black schools. Little Rock had been a comfortable city for black residents, but as racial problems began to develop, resulting in lynching, she moved with her husband and their two daughters to Chicago in 1927. Price's move to Chicago proved to be a profitable one, because in 1928, the Schreimer and McKinley Publishing Companies began to issue her songs, piano music, and her other instructional piano pieces. Unfortunately, in that same year, she had divorced her husband and moved in with her friend, Margaret Bonds. Even though Price was a single mother trying to provide for her family, she would later remarry Pousset Del Arnett. In 1932, Price submitted compositions for the Wanamaker competition and won first prize for her symphony in E minor and second prize for her piano sonata. This had gained her national recognition and eventually led her to the Chicago Symphony. On June 15, 1933, Florence B. Price became the first black female composer to have a symphony performed by a major American orchestra. The Chicago Daily News called it a faultless work, a work that speaks its own message with restraint and yet with passion, worthy of a place in the regular symphonic repertory. In addition to become a nationally recognized composer, Price continued her education at the American Conservatory of Music, Chicago Teachers College, University of Chicago, and Chicago Musical College as a student in composition and orchestration. It was at Chicago Musical College that Florence Price met baritone Theodore Charles Stone, a member of Chicago Music Association. CMA aimed to provide performance venues for classically trained Negro musicians who were, by tradition, denied performance opportunities in major concert halls and on opera stages throughout the country. Ted Stone would later encourage Price to join CMA. Florence Price was a multifaceted musician who earned her living through the sales of her piano works, as composer of popular songs, as an organist for silent films, and orchestrator for WGN Radio. Additional performances were secured with the U.S. Marine Band, Chicago Club of Women's Organists, the Illinois Federation of Music Clubs, the Bronx Symphony, and the Pittsburgh Symphony. Price continued to compose throughout the 1940s and early 50s, penning two concertos for violin and orchestra, two additional symphonies, one of which, Symphony No. 2, has apparently been lost. She gained recognition from as far away as England, where conductor Sir John Barbarelli commissioned her to compose a suite for string instruments, which had its premiere with the famed Holly Orchestra in Manchester. On June 3, 1953, Florence B. Price had died from complications of a stroke in Chicago. Since her death, there have been many artists and organizations that have strived to keep her legacy and music alive. In 2010, 
the Center for Black Music Research commissioned Trevor Weston to reconstruct the long-lost orchestral score for Price's Concerto in One Movement for Piano and Orchestra. The Concerto and her Symphony No. 1 in E minor were performed at Chicago's Harris Theater for Music and Dance on February 17, 2011, to great critical acclaim. Florence B. Price paved the way for many black composers, as well as female composers. She accomplished a lot during her lifetime and left behind a great legacy that will never be forgotten. <laughs>